Hi, my name is Walt Bednarz with Design Point Solutions, and in this video I'm going to go through a very simple example of how you can use EPDM for project management. Uh, there's actually two examples that I have shown here, simple projects in a more complex stage gate or sometimes called phase gate process. We're just going to go through this simple uh, example here, and you can see here I have some folders already that were generated for create, there were projects that were created and to start these I just go to right mouse click within my vault say new and as manager uh, I have access to this creation of a project here simple so if I was if I was logged in as engineer or some other department I wouldn't have access to creating a new project but uh, as manager or project manager I can go in here and say let's create a simple project and what what EPDM does for me here is it allows me to fill in some information about the project right at the beginning so here I can say that maybe this project is for an injection device and you can see here I have some options here or I can select something different like control box here and I get some other options so these forms are fully customizable and again it allows us to capture information about our project right at the beginning so we can use that information elsewhere so we'll say that the customer name is design point I was going to generate this folder for us, and here you see that it gave us the next sequential number. Even though that skips from 37 to 39, we actually have project 38 in our other folder here, the stage gate process. Within the simple, we have this one we just created. We had uh, told EPDM in that form we saw earlier that this was going to be a control box, 12 volt DC, so it makes it very easy for us to browse uh, information about the project as well. And as I dig into this, we can see here. EPDM gave us our standard folder structure and uh, we see here I also have my checklist. And the nice thing about this is I select these folders you can see some information was captured and just uh, put into the folders as well as uh, on the data cards for my files. Now th this is the beauty of EPDM and its template functionality it allows you to reuse that data create the standard folder structure so it creates consistency uh, it obviously makes things more efficient because it's filling out information uh, about the project throughout the project. And in this document here we see that uh, information was pushed into our checklist here about the project. So just makes it very quick and easy to, uh, uh, to populate this information or reuse data elsewhere. So um, that's a very simple example of the creation process just to take a look at some of the the settings here on how this was developed. I have this simple project template that was set up in my admin utility. We can see here that uh, we're just telling EPDM that we want to create this folder structure, the standard folder structure that we would work with for our project. So uh, again, it, it gives an ex uh, some expectation from users to you know browse information for a project. When you tell them look for the customer data and the project regarding uh, uh, that insulin device or that control box with the project number they know to look in the customer data folder they're not uh, poking around a lot when they're trying to browse for files and you can set custom permissions or rights per folder as well so uh, very powerful capabilities again in terms of uh, reusing data but also just setting up the permissions setting up that folder structure and this is a an example of a very simple way to manage projects with enterprise PDM. In this video, what I'm going to go through is show you how you can use enterprise PDM as a complete project management solution for uh, ensuring that certain stages of the project are completed before moving on to the next stages um, to create deeper levels of organization. And the example we're going to use is a phase gate or sometimes referred to as a stage gate type process of managing projects. Now I'm in my simple projects folder where all we did here was just manage folder structure. Um, but I'm going to switch into my stage gate process here. And you can see here that we're capturing different uh, information. Now you can see we got not just this next sequential number but what stage a project is in and I'm going to create a new project, just a simple right mouse click 
go to project instead of simple we're going to go to stage gate again this is very similar to phase gate project management same concept so this form here that EPDM gives me is fully customizable and I can pick and choose what information I want to capture about my project I'll go in here and say that uh, our customer is going to be maybe SolidWorks for this so we're capturing information up front so it could be shared throughout the project folder structure and documents within our project this information can be populated onto our our title blocks of our drawings within uh, specification sheets and it's just reused throughout our, our system here our, our project now as I dig into my my main project folder will see there's separate folders for each stage of the project from the beginning of discovery all the way to launch so you see we're going beyond just design here we're capturing all different types of stages here things that are related to marketing or business and as we dig in we see our folder structure captures things like uh, review information from talking to customers our own internal review maybe looking at concept models and then even reviewing things with suppliers who may uh, provide materials or do some subcontract manufacturing so uh, very simple I can create a new file here we'll just say we're going to create a SolidWorks part and just create that within this folder real quick and an example would be that maybe this part was completed and it moves to our final state so we'll check this in our final state of release we'll check this in to our vault and as manager I have the ability to just say let's run this right to released and what I want to show you in this demonstration is how we can lock down these files that when we move from stage 0 to stage 1 that files within the stage 0 uh, stage of the project get locked down so let's move back up to, to our top level folder here and look at more aspects of our project management we have our, our, our Gantt chart file that would contain information about the project you can see here that it captures the all the different stages plus information about the project here project number and what we're building and we can complete this with all the accurate times associated with with each stage of the project and add additional stages if required uh, once again we have our checklist here that also captures information about the project if we open that up we can see information we we filled out in the beginning uh, gets populated into this document as well and then finally looking at our stage gate record sheet our record sheet captures things like the critical authorizations of the project the current stage which is also captured in the folder structure for browsing um, and it also gives us a nice preview of what's been checked off and this again is also fully customizable in how it's presented now as the project progresses we have this opportunity to move from stage 0 to stage 1 but what we require is that we complete the intermediate steps before getting to stage 1 so we have to get our authorizations from the, the appropriate people you see here I can't go to stage 1 because we haven't completed our approvals so we'll push this through approvals here we have internal customer and vendor review the order in this case doesn't matter however you can set up EPDM that things have to be completed in a certain order also uh, for this demonstration I set it up so that I have complete access to all the approvals you can give certain individuals uh, the, ac the appropriate access to these reviews not one individual so here I've, I've completed the internal and customer review and you see it puts my initials in there that also goes into my my preview here which I can share with others by printing that or just people who have access to EPDM can see that if I try to approve the customer review again EPDM knows not to repeat that it's already been done once so we'll finalize this with our vendor review See, I get our final check off here and we can't have EPM automatically push this to the next stage if we want to in this case for the demonstration I had this wait until all were complete and then I actually told EPM I wanted to go to stage one and we'll push this through
can see my project now is in stage one. That's also captured in our data sheets, or I should say our data cards. We see here stage one scoping. It's the stage we're in. And we initially created a file in our within our uh, within our system here, within our project folder structure, and we see here the part we created. Well, if I decide that I want to now change this and apply an ECO, well, EPDM knows not to move this forward because it's in a stage that's been authorized as complete. So this file is locked down. And this is the way the system is configured. We can make this such that a certain individual can bypass this process if you need to, to get that done. Um, but uh, in order to ensure uh, that files are locked down as they should be after a stage is complete, we put this in place. So it's a way of controlling your projects uh, for project management as well as uh, giving you a deeper level of folder structure and the summary sheet to capture information such as authorizations. And you can see here we've moved on to the next stage which has different authorizations uh, related to marketing here, different than what we had seen before. So that's a uh, uh, using EPDM as a complete project management solution.